Hello and welcome to this module of this course on Apache Cloud Stack. In this module, we will introduce you to Apache Cloud Stack. We will go over its history in brief, speak about the core components and key concepts and terminology associated with Apache Cloud Stack. This module forms the foundation for the upcoming modules where we will start to implement our own cloud environment using Apache Cloud Stack. Before we talk about Apache Cloud Stack, let's quickly try to understand the basics of cloud computing. Traditional methods of hosting and deploying IT infrastructure meant we had to deploy monolithic data centers and physical servers. The lead time for this heavy infrastructure deployment was few days to few weeks. It needed large amount of capital spending upfront. This model often led to energy wastage, low utilization, and high efforts for the administration of hardware servers. It was rather difficult to scale these operations very quickly, whether it was to expand the operation to meet growing demand or to shrink operations due to reasons like seasonality. Cloud is a generic term used for a platform that provides hosted services over a network. At the core of cloud computing is hardware virtualization. Because of this, cloud infrastructure can provide us access to shared pool of computing resources which could be rented or leased on on-demand basis. Some of the main benefits and drivers behind cloud computing are Cloud computing allows companies to avoid upfront infrastructure costs and focus on projects that differentiate their services and products. In the recent years, this has enabled technology startups to invent and come up with innovative technologies and products without worrying about spending a lot on upfront fixed infrastructure. Cloud computing allows enterprises to get their applications up and running faster with improved manageability and less maintenance. Cloud computing enables us to rapidly adjust resources to meet fluctuating and unpredictable business demand. Major cloud providers are vastly trying to use renewable energy sources to run their data centers. And they are also coming up with more efficient data center designs to reduce energy consumptions per unit of computing resource. This obviously has tremendous advantages for the environment. Since cloud providers can manage their data centers more efficiently and cheaply, these savings can be passed on to the cloud consumers. The availability of high capacity networks, low cost computers and storage devices as well as the widespread adoption of hardware virtualization, service-oriented architecture, and atomic utility computing have led to a growth in cloud computing. Companies can scale up as computing needs increase and then scale down again as demands decrease. Cloud computing has become a highly demanded service or utility due to the advantages of high computing power, cheap cost of service, high performance, scalability, accessibility, as well as availability. Some cloud vendors are experiencing growth rates of 50% year over year. To learn more about cloud computing and services provided by the cloud providers, please check out some of our other top rated courses. Cloud computing can be deployed in multiple configurations. The most popular configuration is of course the public cloud. These cloud services are provided by public cloud provider companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Rackspace, and so on. Any individual or company can pay appropriate fee and buy the required services from these public cloud providers. The services are isolated for the individual customer so that they do not interfere with other customers' data or computing resources but the consumers of the cloud do not have any control over the underlying infrastructure and hardware of the cloud. When companies need more control over their infrastructure, they deploy shareable IT infrastructure in their private data centers. This provides the facility and convenience of 
a cloud company to all the consumers within the company at the same time giving more control to the company over their resources this is called private clouds but in many situations companies need to adopt a hybrid approach where they make use of both public and private cloud infrastructure these two separate segments are joined via secure network links and the it resources in both public and private clouds can talk to each other this configuration is called hybrid cloud cloud computing services are typically provided in three different models infrastructure as a service this is the most basic cloud service model and under this model the cloud provider offers computers physical and more often virtual machines and other resources iaas refers to online services that abstract the user from the details of infrastructure like physical computing resources location data partitioning scaling security backup etc platform as a service paas offers a development environment to the application developers in this model the cloud provider typically develops toolkits and standards for development and channels for distribution and payment in the paas model cloud providers deliver a computing platform typically including operating system programming language execution environment databases web servers etc some examples of paas are aws beanstalk azure websites etc and software as a service saas in this model users gain access to application software and databases cloud providers manage the infrastructure and platforms that run the application saas is sometimes referred to as on demand software and is usually priced on a pay per use basis or using a subscription fee some examples of saas are google apps microsoft office 365 etc in this course we will focus on infrastructure as a service or iaas and apache cloud stack Oh, 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 oh,